We are doing a dosing problem. We are asked to administer Tylenol, 65 milligrams now. Tylenol is supplied as 80 milligrams per 0.8 milliliters. And we're asked how many milliliters should you administer? Because it's a dosing problem, we want to identify what is ordered and what is available to us. The 65 milligrams is ordered, and the 80 milligrams per 0.8 milliliters is what is available. I can do this problem using one of three methods. Which method you choose is up to you. I'll start with the dimensional analysis approach. In this approach, we take the 65 milligrams that is ordered and place it over 1. We'll use the strength of the med to cancel the milligrams. So on the bottom of my second fraction, I put, I put the 80 milligrams. On the top, I put the 0 0.8 milliliters. Ready to do the math in my calculator? And I'll take 65 times the 0.8 divided by 80. I get an answer of 0 0.65 milliliters. I don't need to round this answer because I can measure this amount because it's under 1 ml in a TB or 1 ml syringe. So I can keep my answer to the hundredth place. The next approach is the nursing formula. In the nursing formula, the doctor's order or desired amount is 65 milligrams. What I have is 80 milligrams. The labels for these match and therefore cancel. The 80 milligrams is available in a quantity of 0 0.8 mil. I'll put these numbers on my calculator, and again, I come up with an answer of 0 0.65 mLs, which does not need rounded because this amount, less than 1 mL, can be measured in the TB syringe. My final approach is the proportion method. In the proportion method, I'll start with what is ordered, 65 milligrams, and I'll put it over XMLs because I need to change it into milliliters. I'll put the equal sign because in a proportion I'm trying to make equal fractions, and I'll match the labels. So I have available to me 80 milligrams over 0 0.8 milliliters. In order to solve, I'll cross multiply on my first diagonal, 65 times 0 0.8 is 52. On my second diagonal, I have 80x. I'll divide both sides by 80. To get x equals 0 0.65. When I write this answer, make sure you have the leading zero. The answer does not need rounded because it is less than one milliliter and can be measured precisely in the TB syringe.